Car break-ins and thefts on the rise in many suburban areas, and you might need to start doing more than just locking your car. Jenny Borick found out some more suggestions to keep yourself protected. I think the problem is people get too comfortable. So they're like, I live in a nice neighborhood. I know all my neighbors, everything's fine. And then they leave their cars unlocked or then they leave their keys in their car and it ends up disappearing. Montgomery County Sheriff's Office Chief Deputy Matt Haynes says this uptick is in many of the suburbs. Organized groups are going into the suburbs and they're usually people who don't live in those areas. In all the suburbs of Montgomery County and it's now starting to affect the adjacent counties as well that there are um, probably several different organized groups of people that are going out and, and committing thefts of vehicles or thefts from vehicles. Springboro Police Department has posted multiple Facebook posts within the last month about car thefts and how to protect your property, including this post six days ago showing a group caught on a ring camera attempting to break into a car in a neighborhood. Authorities say some less sophisticated groups are juveniles who run around in neighborhoods checking cars to see if they're unlocked. Deputy Haynes says firearms being stolen out of cars is also a big concern. If you own a firearm, be a responsible firearm owner, do not leave that in an unlocked car because it is shocking how often we're taking reports of firearms stolen from unlocked cars. Kias and Hondas are stolen a lot because they're easy to steal. Chief Deputy Haynes says take extra precautions with those, use another locking device if you can. He also says take your garage remotes out of your car and don't program your garage opener in your car. We have had a few instances where people are using garage door openers, even if they have to force entry to a car, using the garage door opener and then going in and committing burglaries.